How you doing guys? Welcome back here. We have the Arctic Air Ultra, the new product out on the market. The new improved version of the Arctic Air. Supposedly two times the cooling power. We're going to test all this out. We're going to take a look at this product and see if it's an improvement over the old one. If you haven't seen my original video on the original Arctic Air, I'll leave a link up here to that one. Wasn't super impressed with it. Really, I thought it was garbage product. We're going to see if this does anything better, if it's worth you going out and picking up. So let's take a look at this. You can see new look on it as far as, you know, the pictures on the side. Same there. Let's go ahead and break this open and see what's in here. Little instruction card for best results. Instructions. power cord and our Arctic Air Ultra. Get this plastic off here. Different look than the original. So here's the original, here's the new one. It is a little shorter and not quite as wide either. So smaller unit. And the one thing I noticed right off the bat is this one had the light up panel that did different colors. You could cycle through those. This one doesn't. This just lights up on the top and it's just one color. So it's, you can have it either on or off. So you don't have the different colors that this one had, but this is supposed to have more powerful fan. Also, you notice in the front here, this one you can kind of adjust, you know, if you want it blowing down, if you want it blowing up. No adjustment on the old one. So that's definitely an improvement there. Let's get this out of here. We know that was garbage. So the new one, and let's take a look at these for best results. So for best results, pre-soak your filter. Place your filter under running water until wet. Tip for even more cooling, place the wet filter in the freezer until frozen. So that wasn't something you did on the original one. So here's your filter, different looking filter than the old one. So for best results, I say soak this underwater and stick it in the freezer. Place a flat, place on flat surface fill tank with water right here. And it has a little knob, little tab in there that says max so you fill up to that tab so we'll place our water in there point towards you and adjust the vents to direct the flow recommended regular cleaning of your so you can just stick this in the dishwasher it says and if you lose this card they have a sticker right here saying the exact same thing i got a lot of comments on that first one people were looking to buy this device because they didn't have ac or the ac was broken and thought this was going to replace ac in your house this is not a mini air conditioner. It's not going to cool down your room, even though, let's bring up the box here. Even though on the box they show it and it says great for living rooms, offices, kitchens, bathrooms, basements, bedrooms, and more. Cool your space fast and easy. But if you look in those pictures, everybody has the Arctic air right next to them. So that's all this device is going to do. It's a personal space cooler. It's going to cool two to three feet out from this device. So is it gonna cool your house down? No, maybe if you have 20 of these all over the place, maybe, but just to buy a couple of these, if you think it's gonna cool the room down, I don't think so. I know the last one, the old version didn't do it. We're gonna test this one. I'm gonna get it going, check the temperature in here, let it run for a little while and we'll see how much it does. So let's get this filled up and ready to go. And First, I'm going to just do it just out of the box. I'm not gonna soak this, I'm not gonna freeze it. We're gonna check and see how cool the air is coming out of it just the way it is. Because that's gonna be the way you're gonna use it most of the time. Because say you have this in your office or something like that, you're not gonna be running and soaking that filter or putting it in the freezer. You're just gonna turn it on and have it go and see if it cools you down. So that's the way we're gonna test it first. Then we'll, uh, Put some water in there you know put some water on that filter and freeze it so i got my tap water here cold tap water out of the faucet 
Okay, so I have the water filled up just where it just touches that max tab. And again, filter is not wet, didn't freeze it. Turn that on. And it's blowing pretty good. Fairly cool. Let's move it back from me a little ways. Let's put it back like say two feet. If I'm working on a computer, I have it setting over here. I feel it's pretty cool. Let me set it at the very corner of the table and let me move over here. And I'm probably about sitting back here, probably about four feet away from it right now. I can feel it from here. I mean, it's keeping me cool again. I don't know if you can hear that. Let me pull it up here closer to my microphone. I mean, it's, it's fairly loud. I mean, if you aren't working in like a, cold, uh, a quiet office or something, or you have to work on the phone a lot, the high speed, maybe not. Medium still, let me get it up here, is fairly loud. Low, it's not the quietest device. But it's working. It's it's keeping me cool. So, you're if you if you want to use one of these devices, you're gonna have to deal with the noise. But let's see how cool this actually is with just water coming out of it. Closer to the outer edge of it, about 69. But if I get it right in the middle, we're getting about what 64, 63, 64. So 63 to 64, and that's just I was aiming that right in the middle there. Let's get the old Arctic air here going. All right, let's get them going again. Both on high. Again, like I said, the Arctic Air Ultra, a little louder. Let me turn that one off for a minute. Yeah, definitely feel the new one more. More of a breeze coming on you than the old one. But let's check the temperatures coming out of this. Get them both going here. Turn them around here. Man, that's the thing. When you have these, you can't move them around much because water just comes out of them really easily. Let's check that new one, the Ultra again. About 63 to 64 right there in the middle. Let's go to the original. And we're getting colder temps out of this one. Let's check it again. So it's kind of fluctuating. It's down to 60, 59, but the original's getting down to 55 coming out of there. So to begin with, just out of the box, just, just adding regular water out of it, this one, the fan's blowing more. You feel it more on you. But the temperature's coming out cooler on this one. But again, not a strong fan, so unless you're right in front of it, you're not gonna feel that. But now let's do what they said in the instructions. Let's put some water on that filter, then I'm gonna to toss it in the freezer for about a half hour, and then we'll put it back in and see how much of a difference that makes. Okay, I got cold water, just, it says get that filter completely wet. I feel like that's pretty good. Now let's go ahead and throw it in the freezer. All right, so I got it in the freezer. I'm gonna let it sit there for about a half hour. Okay, so it's been about 50 minutes. This has been sitting in there see there's ice build up on it so this is well frozen let's go ahead and stick it back in there make sure I get in the right direction and of course because there is ice on the bottom you're gonna have to scrape some of those ice chunks off in order for it to fit okay. there we go get it back in there all right so we have a filter that was ran into the water, stuck in the freezer, had it in there for about 50 minutes. All right, so I'm getting, that's about 43. So yeah, it's some cool air coming out of that. Let's turn this off for a minute. So the only issue I have with this, now while it is really cold air coming out of there, it's a process. I mean, I could see maybe running the filter underwater, you know, that's an easy thing to do if you're in an office or anything. You just run it under a drinking fountain or something to get it wet and stick it in there. But are you going to run and put it in a freezer and have to sit and wait? And then how long is this going to last being that cold? You know, eventually, especially if you're in a warm room, that filter is going to thaw and it's not going to be frozen anymore. So you're not going to get that really cold air coming out of there. So while it's putting out 
cool air right now, I don't really see that being a viable option for you. I mean, how often are you gonna keep going and, okay, it's starting to get a little warm, I'm gonna run and stick that in the freezer again and wait. Now, maybe if you had multiple filters, so when this one starts to you know lose its coolness, you switch the filter out, but again, that's more money you're spending and are you gonna go through that much? You could, and you'll get, what was it, about 43 degrees coming out of there. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put the Arctic air over here at the end of the table and have it, and we're gonna check the temperature on the couch over here. And I'm gonna let it run for like a half hour and see if it changes the temperature over there. Just to kind of get an idea of how much space you're gonna to try to cool down with this. Again, this is a personal cooler, you know, it's not gonna cool a whole room down. So within three to four feet, I think it'll cool that space down, but this is probably more like a six foot space and to see if it does anything after running for a half an hour. And then we'll check that temperature coming out of here too and see if it's warmed up any after about a half hour. So is that 43 degrees? And we'll check it again in a half hour of letting it just run and see what the temperature is then. So let's check and see what the temperature is over here on the couch right now with this off. Okay, right now I have it shooting on the back of the couch and we're getting about 68.5. And while it runs for the half hour, I'm gonna turn off the lights so we don't get any heating from these lights heating up the space either. So let's check the temperature on the couch. It's been a little over a half hour. We're getting about 68 degrees on the back, on the seat about 68 degrees also. Sitting here, the, the Arctic air is back behind the camera here. It's probably six feet from me and I feel a pretty strong breeze. I mean, it's blowing it out fairly strong. I mean, can't really tell, it's, I mean, but it's blowing. I can feel it right here. It's cool right here. So it did drop the temperature a little bit right here. So you don't have to sit right on top of it. And I did check the temperature on the thermostat when I set this up, it was 71. It's saying 70 now. This is a really big space. My ceilings are 16 feet high, so it's not gonna cool this room down, but I would, let me see. If I'm over here, if you're directly in front of it, you're gonna feel the breeze. I don't feel it right here. I can if I put my arm out here. Again, it's, what 70 degrees in here so it's not really hot in here but you're not going to feel the breeze on you unless you're directly in front of it but uh, i'm fairly impressed with it i mean like i said it's quite a ways away from me that other the older arctic air didn't have that strong of a fan that it didn't blow this far of a distance but i will say it's loud when i had this running for the half hour i was down the hallway in the bedroom you know three rooms down i could hear it so if you're in a space where you need it to be quiet, this isn't gonna work for you. But if, if you can hear this fan sound, that's not an issue with you. I mean, for a personal space cooler, I'm fairly happy with this. Um, it's doing better than I say a, a fan. You could have a fan, you know, turning and, and cooling multiple people down for, for one person. This is doing a good job. Now let's get that infrared thermometer and check the temperature coming out of there now that it's been a little over a half hour, see if the temperature is still as cold as it was when we put that frozen filter in there. Okay, so now I have it shooting right into the middle. What were we at? About 44, 43, 44, I think before. Now we're up to 52, 53. So there you go. You can see that it's been a half hour. That frozen filter we have in there, and let's pull it out of here. Take a look. Yeah. It's not frozen anymore. It's, it's still wet, but that's the thing. Freezing it is going to give you cooler temperatures, but for just a short period of time, because then it's going to unfreeze and then you're not going to get those really cold temperatures. So I think that's a step most people probably aren't going to do, but it's been a half hour. That filter is still really wet, and that's probably going to give you a little bit cooler temperatures doing that, maybe. So I don't think the whole freezing, it's going to be a really big game changer for you because I don't think many people are going to do that. Again, I like the distance that I don't have to, I think that other one, the old version that's around here somewhere, I had to pretty much have right on me to really feel it. This one, six feet away when I was on the couch there, I could still feel that breeze on me. Um, it's And you can, you know, adjust 
you want it blowing up or down. I like that. Um, smaller, I think it's a better looking unit than the other one. Same price. Now, I know I got a lot of comments on the other video. People are saying, you need to put that in the window. That's why it's not working good. This doesn't go in the window. Nowhere on the box, the directions anywhere, does it say this device goes in the window. That's not what it's for. So no, you don't need to put it in the window. And yes, I know you can also put ice in here too to help cool it down. But again, I think that's just something you're not gonna waste your time with because it's the same as freezing that. Those ice cubes aren't gonna last that long. It's gonna give you cooler temperatures just for a short period of time. Are you constantly gonna keep putting ice in there? And I did a video on the other one where I compared just tap water to ice water to see how much of a difference you're gonna get. I'll leave a link up there to that video if you wanna check that one out. And like I said in that video, I mean, how often are you gonna keep adding ice to it? So I don't think you're gonna use it that way. I think you're probably most of you are just gonna fill it with water. You're not gonna put water on the, on the uh, filter either. And we were getting what in the mid fifties. So I think even just doing it that way, it wasn't bad. It blows quite a distance for a personal space cooler. It's, it's working. I mean, it's doing what it's saying. It's not an AC. It's not going to cool your whole room down. It's not going to cool your house down. So don't get it. That's what you're looking for. If you just need something to cool you down in a small area, this will work. So let's turn these lights out and cause there is a light on top of it. Like I said, the old version had multiple colors, the whole side lit up and you could get it. It could go through the different colors. You could just have it one solid color. This just has one color on the top. So let's turn everything off and take a look at that. So there it is with it on. It's a really dim blue. So it's, it's not as bright as it seems in the camera. So there you go. There's a look at the Arctic air. We checked the temperature on it. I like the temperatures we're getting out of there. We're getting some cooler temperatures. You get some really cool temperatures if you do freeze that filter. But again, are you gonna go through that process all the time? I doubt it. It's a decent device for what it's supposed to do. A personal space cooler. Don't think it's gonna cool your place down. It's not gonna cool a whole room. It's not gonna cool a house or an apartment down. Like I said, when I was sitting on the couch there, I could feel it on me if I was directly in front of it. But if you're sitting to the sides, you're not gonna feel it that much. So guys, let me know in the comments below. Do you have this version or the other version and how's it working out for you? Do you like it? You know, overall, I mean, I don't love the product and I don't hate it. I wish it was quieter. It is really loud, but it performs decent for what it's supposed to do. Again, guys, if you're new here, please hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell notification so you're notified every time I upload a new video. And I will see you guys next time.